Hey there boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video, today talking about a new update that recently dropped for CSGO. So, a couple of changes have been made to Nuke as well as to Cash, which we will be covering in a couple of seconds, but before we get right into it, let's talk about the different changes that they also made to the stuff. So first of all, they increased the radius of the C4 disarm sound, which I think is kinda nice. Also, they finally fixed the alt tap sound bug, which has been around for a couple of weeks now, and it's finally gone, so that's also really great to hear. Another cool thing is also that they improved the performance on Nuke quite a bit, so even when I'm outside right here, I usually get a stable 200 plus FPS, which is really good. So in case you also have noticed anything different performance wise on Nuke, please let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, th also they added a new command which you can see right here, it basically draws a circle on the surface you're hitting with your bullet and basically displays within a circle where the bullet could have landed, it's basically showing you the bullet spread. Nice and little neat command that I will also put in the uh, description down below so you can check it out for yourself together with all the other links to the changes. Now let's move on to the actual map changes on Nuke. So you probably already spotted one, and that would be the red box, uh, as you can see, next to the garage right there. Another thing is also right here, in the heaven room, they removed the railing around the, well, the ladder hole, you could call it. And now you actually have to use this jump in order to get onto the garage roof. So people were all complaining, well, they want hard jumps. Now, now you can only do the hard jump. It's not possible to do the other one anymore, since they removed the red box right here. This also, of course, means that you can still do it from the T side right here if you want to go to garage, just strafe onto this portion right here. Strafe jump better set. And of course, this changes the matter quite a bit because now you're actually able to hold with your AWP um, silo or marshmallow again, which is a lot more efficient than it was before. You can also kind of um, sneaky peek between the, um, what's it called, the mesh of the, the catwalk area, or you can just get on the little pillar right there and just uh, try to get a kill from there. And you can see from the, the T side, it's actually a lot harder to see through the things right here. So usually if you're CT, you got an advantage. So people were complaining about it and Valve made something or did something about it. So I hope everyone is happy now. But let's move on to the other changes, which we'll also now check out. So another thing that has been bugging people lately was the grenade clipping on Nuke. So as you can see, the first one went straight through and if you're fairly close to the door, they still bounce off because, I mean, in some scenarios I really was too close, but it's a lot better than it was previously and usually your nades should go through even better than they were before, so as you can see, it usually should not be a problem. It's not completely 100%, but it's definitely a lot better than it was before. If we move to cash, you can see that not much has changed actually from a gameplay point of view. Here you got now the, the graphic of Sunroom in Sunroom and of course the textures right here are also a little different on cache and they also added a couple of, well, grenade smoke, flash molotov indicators right here at a couple of spots on the map which you can also check out. Another big thing that has been changed, which also changes the gameplay, would be the vents. They're now the same kind of vents as on Nuke, however you cannot open and close them, but they offer a lot better visibility and look a lot nicer. So these were the changes, I hope you enjoyed the video and like us, can figure out.